weird fetish. She used to like to dress up as herself and then act like a fucking bitch all the time. So, yeah, they're here, all of them. Be the same one an older girl's gonna look like look at her mother, you know, so I'm so glad I broke up with her, because uh, she would have been dead. <laughs> Guys, I got grow up! <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> but guys, I didn't retaliate with her. I didn't, because you can probably already tell I lived my life. But what would Jesus do? You know, so whenever I fight or anything, I just stop, think, and then not exist. So I uh, They're easily broken, oh yeah. Women are like cows. Because they both have vaginas different. <laughs> Very different the genders are, strange. Yeah, men are like muzzles. Yeah, because they'll try to shut you up. No, 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 but don't listen. Hey, and women are like puzzles, because prior to 1920, neither had the right to vote. <laughs> Puzzles still don't trump. Yeah, a man is an eagle. Yeah, a woman is a dove. Women can fake orgasms, but men can fake love. <laughs> For all the girls who cheered, I don't think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck sluts, no if, ands, and or buts. I fuck sluts, I fuck sluts. Nice girls are nice, but no good for not sucking. They'll need a serene night to bring my the butt fucking, but that'll be easy, but sleazy old slut fucking boo to the nice girls. Praise be to slut fucking. <laughs> Pages are blank, it's theater. <laughs> Use this page turn. <laughs> I have a list, a list. Yes, a list of all the sluts I've missed. I've never fucked or sucked these sluts, and thus my nuts are fucking pissed. So when I fuck the lucky slut, Removes her from the list. Another dumb cum bucket struck from my nut sucking, sucking, slut, slut fucking bucket list. So, oh shit, silver sting it close. Oh, give it Sluts can be white, black, brown, pink, or almond. They can be skinny with big tits or be skinny with small ones. Sluts can be perky, preppy, or posh with their brains and their clothes all shrunk from the wash. But other girls are pretty and funny and smart. They can lift all your thoughts from your dick to your heart. They can talk about science, music, or art. They can put you together, or they can pull you apart. But don't trust these women. Don't. Don't you dare. They'll force you to trust them and love them and care. And then they'll be gone, and then you'll be aware of that hole in your heart that that dumb slut left there. Thank you. <laughs> so sometimes it's nice. Very upset, so I put him in the car, and we went to the vet. And on our way to the vet, I killed a cat. <laughs> Did a child from overseas to rescue him from child labor factories, and on his very first birthday, we went to build a bear workshop. <laughs> Ironic cheer for the labor laws of children. Isn't that I R O N I C I N O R I R O N I C? Yeah, I said a water park is burned to the ground and a tow truck is broken down. I always used to cry when I laughed, and then I was raped by a clown. Hey, Fucking screen looks like a proactive commercial. <laughs> Where's Katy Perry? Do my after photos, you bitch. Okay. I, I was watching Al Gore on CNN. He was talking about the environment, and then out of boredom, my pet polar bear shot himself. No! Isn't that ironic? One day she got really pissed because I was eating veal that was wrapped in pita bread. Pita, you know, right? Fuck it. I don't care was the place where the smartest dudes were at. Now the only place where you see Greek letters is at a fucking frat. I said I was stand-up comic and I always sit and slouch and I got my girlfriend pregnant on my sterile uncle's pull-out couch. Hey, in your life, and Monopoly has far from a stranglehold in the board game market. Little kid died from suffocation when he choked on a game piece from Opera
perspiration and I can't grow a beard. That one's not ironic. That was just sad. <laughs> Thank you for the pink light on that one. <laughs> My grandfather had Alzheimer's and one day we were... <laughs> last joke, okay? Because I made fun of my grandfather, and he's a great man, okay? And he's actually in a wheelchair, and he doesn't like when people make fun of his condition, you know, but he can't stand... Guys, oh. I am. <laughs> he had three best friends. Millie, who never left her lily pad. <laughs> Billy, who was always hopping mad. And Roger, who was arrested for possession of tadpole porn. So. <laughs> Andy lived a peaceful life until one sunny morning he saw something hop across the grass on the other side of the pond. Millie, Billy, Roger, looks at Andy. Across the pond stood the most beautiful frog Andy had ever seen. She's gorgeous, said Millie. She's beautiful, said Billy. Bit old for my taste, said Roger. Classic Roger. <laughs> and then she was gone. I need to go find her, said Andy. I need to follow my heart. So Andy followed the beautiful frog's footsteps in the forest. He then came across a turtle. You can't pass, said the turtle. Please, said Andy. No, said the turtle. And this is the first long convoluted metaphor. Then there was rustling in the bushes, and, like a man who had been shot in the chest with a rifle, the turtle was shot in the chest with a rifle. <laughs> Andy kept moving, and at this point, like the doctor of the Kenyan track team, his patience ran thin. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> Andy continued to follow the beautiful frog's footprints. I need to find her, said Andy, for love. He then came across a giant crocodile. Have you seen a beautiful frog lately, said Andy? The crocodile began to chant. I woke up this morning and I sat on a log. I opened up the menu and the menu said, frog! Andy said, no! No, please let go of me, I can feel myself dying, you're ripping up my insides, I'm never gonna find her, there's no God, fuck! The end. So, let's stand up the story. 